Imagine a world with only one type of tree, one type of bird, and one type of fish. It might seem simpler, but it would actually be incredibly fragile and not to mention boring. Our real world is bursting with life, over 8 million different species calling Earth home. Welcome to Seismic, I'm Matt, and today we're diving into one of the most important concepts in environmental science, biodiversity. From microscopic bacteria to massive blue whales, from delicate orchids to towering redwoods, the variety of life on Earth is absolutely mind-blowing. But this isn't just about pretty pictures. Biodiversity is what keeps our planet's ecosystems healthy, stable, and able to support all life, including you and me. Let's explore why every species matters. Biodiversity simply means biological diversity, the variety of different living things in an ecosystem. Think of it like this. Which is stronger, a rope made of one thick strand or a rope made of many smaller strands twisted together? Ecosystems with high biodiversity are like the multi-strand rope. They're much stronger and more resilient. If one strand breaks, the others hold everything else together. In a diverse ecosystem, if one species struggles, others can fill its role and keep that ecosystem functioning. But biodiversity isn't just about stability. It provides what scientists call ecosystem services. These are the benefits that healthy ecosystems give us for free. Things like bees pollinating our crops, forests cleaning our air, wetlands filtering our water, and bacteria in soil recycling nutrients. Now, here's the amazing part. Scientists have found that ecosystems with more species are better at providing these services. More diverse ecosystems are more productive, more stable during environmental changes, and recover faster from disasters. It's like having a diverse team working together. Everyone brings different skills so the team can handle any challenge that comes their way. Let's dive into the most biodiverse ecosystem on our planet, coral reefs. Even though coral reefs cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, they're home to more than 25% of all marine species. That's like having a quarter of all ocean life living in an area smaller than the state of Nevada. But why are coral reefs so incredibly diverse? It's all about the complex structure that corals create. Think of coral reefs like underwater cities with millions of apartments, hiding spots in different neighborhoods. This creates countless ecological niches, specific roles and places where different species can live. Some fish, like clownfish, have partnerships with sea anemones. Cleaner fish set up cleaning stations where bigger fish come to get parasites removed. Parrotfish actually eat the coral and poop out sand. They're like underwater sand factories. But here's the incredible thing about reef biodiversity. When coral reefs face threats like warming water or pollution, having more species makes them more likely to survive. Some corals might be more heat tolerant, some fish might adapt to new conditions, and the ecosystem can remain stable even when some species struggle. Unfortunately, coral reefs are also among the most threatened ecosystems on Earth. Climate change, pollution, and overfishing have damaged many reefs worldwide. But conservation efforts are showing that protecting biodiversity can help reefs recover and stay resilient. Now let's head to land and explore tropical rainforests, often called the lungs of our planet. While coral reefs might have the highest biodiversity per square meter, rainforests have the highest biodiversity overall, with millions of species calling them home. Rainforests are like living skyscrapers with different floors for different species. The emergent layer at the top gets full sunlight. The canopy layer is like a leafy highway where most animals live. The understory is darker and cooler, and the forest floor is where decomposers recycle nutrients. Just one tree in the Amazon rainforest can host over 400 species of insects. Scientists estimate that we've only discovered about 10% of the species living in rainforests. Every year, researchers find new species of frogs, insects, plants, and even mammals. This biodiversity isn't just amazing to look at, it's incredibly valuable to humans. About 25% of our medicines come from rainforest plants. The rosy periwinkle from Madagascar helps treat childhood leukemia. There's even trees that help treat malaria. Scientists believe that there are thousands more potential medicines just waiting to be discovered. 
Unfortunately, we're losing rainforest biodiversity faster than we can study it. Every minute, we lose about 40 football fields worth of rainforest. But conservation efforts, including protecting indigenous lands and sustainable forestry, are helping to preserve these incredible ecosystems. Some species have an impact on their ecosystem that's way bigger than their size suggests. These are called keystone species, named after the keystone at the top of an arch that holds the whole structure together. One of the most famous examples is wolves in Yellowstone National Park. When wolves were removed in the 1920s, deer populations exploded. They overate young trees and shrubs, which caused soil erosion and reduced biodiversity. When wolves were reintroduced in 1995, they controlled deer populations. Vegetation actually recovered, and the entire ecosystem became healthier. Bees are another crucial keystone species. One third of the food we eat depends on bee pollination. That's right, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and even alfalfa that feeds our dairy cows. Without bees, our food system would collapse and ecosystem biodiversity would plummet. Beavers are ecosystem engineers. They build dams that create wetland habitats for hundreds of other species. Elephants in Africa create paths and water holes that other animals depend on. Even tiny bacteria are keystone species, recycling nutrients that all life depends on. This shows us that biodiversity isn't just about having lots of species. It's about how all these species interact and depend on each other. Remove one keystone species and the whole web can unravel. Humans might live in cities and use technology, but we absolutely depend on biodiversity for our survival and well-being. Every breath that you take, every bite of food that you eat, and many medicines you might take all depend on healthy, diverse ecosystems. Economists have tried to put a price on ecosystem services, and the numbers are absolutely staggering. Some estimate the value at over $100 trillion per year globally. Forests purify our air and water, wetlands prevent flooding, and diverse crop varieties protect our food. Biodiversity also inspires human innovation through biomimicry. Velcro was inspired by bird seeds, efficient wind turbine blades, copy humpback whale fins, and ultra-strong materials are modeled after spider silk. Biodiverse ecosystems are also our best allies against climate change. Forests, grasslands, and wetlands store massive amounts of carbon. Diverse ecosystems are better at adapting to changing conditions and continuing to provide these crucial services. The good news is that when we protect biodiversity, it can recover. Bald eagles came back from near extinction, gray whale populations have recovered, and many countries are expanding protected areas and restoring damaged ecosystems. Biodiversity is like a giant insurance policy for life on Earth. The more variety we have, the more resilient and stable our ecosystems become. Every species, no matter how small, plays a role in the incredible web of life that supports us all. You're growing up during a critical time for biodiversity. The choices your generation makes will determine what kind of planet future generations inherit. Maybe you'll become a marine biologist protecting coral reefs, or an ecologist studying rainforests, or even an engineer designing sustainable cities. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science videos, and let me know in the comments what's your favorite ecosystem and why. Thanks for exploring the incredible biodiversity of our planet with Seismic. Want to explore more about ecosystems, conservation, and environmental science? Check out our complete middle school science curriculum at seismic.com, where every student can learn, grow, and achieve.